what is going on everybody welcome back to yet another video so in today's video i'm going to be giving you guys an in-depth chart setup for thinkorswim and i'm going to be showing you guys my entire setup as well as how to use it so if you guys could real quick make sure to click that like and that subscribe button as well as clicking that bell icon so you do get notified every single time i upload a brand new video and real quick just in case you guys didn't know every single morning at 8 15 a.m eastern time i go live here on the youtube and i give you guys everything that i'm looking to trade for the day giving you guys all of my levels and what stocks i am really liking for that day so make sure you guys do tune in every single morning 8 15 eastern time but without further ado let's hop into the video so real quick, if you are new to Thinkorswim, by default, once you open up the app, it's going to look just like this. However, the default version of Thinkorswim is pretty ugly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make your charts look like this. I'm also going to show you how to set up my day trading setup. And then I'm also going to show you how to make this big chart right here. That way you can create a daily watch list and watch this all on one screen. So I'm going to show you guys every single window I use for Thinkorswim as well as how to set it up throughout this video. But let's start by setting up the default chart, which is going to be the one that you see every single time you click on the charts tab right here. So again, the regular Thinkorswim chart looks nothing like that one. So the very first thing we are going to do is go up to this chart settings icon right here. So we're going to click on this and we are going to change the appearance of how this chart looks. So the very first thing is make sure that you check the fill up. Now for me personally, I like to make the candles a little brighter. So maybe this green right here. And then I do the same thing as the fill up. So again, that green right there, gonna apply that. And then we go to the border down. I like to make it like a darker red. So I like to choose that one. Same thing with the fill down. I wanna choose that darker red. So now once you got both of those, make sure you click apply. Now, as far as the background, I don't like the grid, so I take the grid off. It's personal preference at that point. I just do not prefer using it. And then as far as the volume, I like to make it the same color as the actual candles. And then you can also play around with your cursor. I prefer to make mine this light blue right here. So now we got everything done over there. Now, the most important thing is, again, it's personal preference, but I do not like having my candlestick right up against the end of the chart so if we go to the time axis this one right here at expansion area i like to make it 25 you can choose 10 if you want i just prefer to have that room in between the last candle and then the edge of the chart now another thing on the price axis is i always uncheck the fit studies and the fit study markers so then i click apply there so that's going to be the very basic when it comes to the actual chart itself now if we go over here i prefer to only have watch lists i don't like to have the chart or the news or even trader tv so what you can do is you can click this little icon right here click delete gadget again delete gadget for the news delete the gadget for the chart and now we are left with just a watch list so personally on my thinkorswim setup i have five watch lists i have one for the weekly watch list day trading watch list swing trading watch list i also have a squeeze scanner and then every single stock i've ever traded so if you are going to add a different watch list you're going to come down here to this plus button right here all you need to do is click watch list so if you wanted to add three of them you can just keep adding as much as you want and then you can change these watch lists and then thinkorswim by default has a few of them so you could end up putting top 10 percent gainers in the nasdaq and throw that up again it's just up to you but i will post some of my watch lists down below in the description for you guys but for me personally all i have is these watch lists over here but now let's get into adding the indicators that i like to use so on the main chart I like to use four EMAs, the 5, 8, 21, and 55 EMA. And then I like to use my SMAs for charting purposes only. So only the 50 SMA, the 100 SMA, and the 200 SMA. So as far as adding your indicators, all you're going to do is click this edit studies button. And then you are going to type in EXP for exponential moving average. Find the MOV AVG exponential. Again, I use four of them. So we're going to put those on. And then I use three simple moving averages. So we're going to type in simple and then find simple moving average right here. And we're going to add three of them. Now, as far as the exponential moving averages, like I said, I like to use the five EMA. And I personally make this one green. And then I like to make it this little dotted. And then as far as the eight EMA, I make it this pink right here, pinkish purple. Again, make that dotted. 
Then I do the 21 EMA, and I personally like to make this white, and I like to keep it solid. And then for the final one, I do the 55 EMA. I keep it this light blue right here, and again, I make it dotted. Then the 100 SMA, which I make this dark blue right here. And then finally, I use the 200 SMA, which I make red. So now all we have to do is click apply, and now we have all of our moving averages on the chart. Now there's a few other indicators I like to use on the main chart. I like to use the on balance volume, the TTM squeeze, and then the stochastics. So as far as the on balance volume, all you have to do is type in on balance and it's gonna be this one right here, add selected, and then make sure that you drag this onto the volume. That way it shows up on the volume and it doesn't add an extra tab down here. So I like to overlap it over the volume. Next, it's going to be the stochastic slow. So there's many stochastics you can use. However, I prefer to use the slow. I think it's a lot more accurate. As far as the K line, I like to make it either a green or a light blue. So I'm just going to make it this light green for now. And then as far as the slow D, I like to keep it this little pink purple color right here. So now we're going to click apply there. And then as far as the TTM squeeze, I have the pro edition on the normal thinkorswim but we're just going to use the default one that's on thinkorswim here so we're going to add that ttm squeeze and this is exactly how my main chart is going to look so for this chart this is basically where you're going to be doing all of your technical analysis and this is basically where you want to know where the simple moving averages are because the simple moving averages are super important on the daily time frame that's why i do all of my charting on this tab right here However, once I do all of my charting, that's when I start to move to other charts as well. So I could do easier analysis and use some other indicators that I necessarily do not need on here. So now I also have a clean chart that's going to be easy for me to see support and resistance areas. So if you go up to the top right, right here on thinkorswim where it says show actions menu, click this tab right here, and then you're going to click detach. This is going to open up the same exact chart but it's going to be in a completely different window. So now what we can do is go to this tab. And when I'm doing my support and resistance, ideally, I like to just keep the 8 and 21 EMA on and get rid of everything else and keep the on balance stochastic and the squeeze. So now we don't have so many EMAs that could potentially be blocking, you know, possible chart patterns that you can't see because there's so many of them or support and resistance areas. So I like to keep the 8 and 21 on this chart again, just so everything is clean. I can see support and resistance as well as my chart pattern. So now going back to the normal think or swim tab. Now what we are going to do is go to this flexible grid right here. This is where we're going to make our day trading setup as well as our watch list setup. So let me close all of these real quick so the computer doesn't lag. But what we are going to do is when you click on the flexible grid, it's going to give you these four charts right here. What you are going to do is you are going to link all of these to the same exact color. So we're going to do red, red, and red. Now, as far as day trading, as you can see with this chart all the way over here, I put five charts on here and then I used level two down here. So that's exactly what I'm going to show you now. So we already got three at the bottom by default. All you're going to do is go to the bottom right chart right here. And right here where it says chart, you're going to click on that and it's going to make the chart disappear. Now, as far as getting level two, all you need to do is click level two and then this is going to pop up. I'm going to turn this off for now again so my computer doesn't lag. But now we got the level two and we got everything in sync. So now we have our two bottom charts down here. Now we need to add two more up here. So all you're going to do is click this plus button right here and it's going to add another chart right there. And then you're going to do another plus button right there. And again, make sure that all of these are linked using the red. That way, if you were to change the chart to something like AMD, they are all going to change to the same exact stock. Now, again, you do have to go through all of these and you do have to change the appearance. So let me do that real quick and then I'll unpause the video. All right. So all I basically did was take the background off and then I added the expansion area just to make everything look a little better. But now as far as this point, when it comes to the day trading layout, I use a different setup when I'm day trading. Ideally, my strategy is just using the 5, 8, 21, 34, 55, 89 EMA plus the TTM squeeze and then watching the level two when I'm day trading. So what we are going to do first off is this top left one, you are going to change to the one hour. Then this middle one right here at the top, you're going to change to the four hour. 
and then this one all the way on the right is going to be the daily and then the bottom left is going to be the five minute plus the 10 minute so as you can see the 10 minute is not on here by default all you got to do is click customize list add time frame and then we are going to go to intraday all you need to do is do a 10 minute time frame right here and then i usually make this the 10 day 10 minute i'm going to add that apply it okay and then i'm going to choose the 10 minute right here so the five and 10 minute are going to be what you use to day trade. And then we will get to the one hour, four hour daily in a second. But from here, we are going to start adding our indicators for day trading. So what you need to do is you need to come up to this beaker icon right here and then go to edit studies. Now, again, when I day trade, I like to use multiple exponential moving averages, and I will explain how to use them very quickly. So I like to use six exponential moving averages when I'm trading. It just gives me a sense of direction. Again, if you guys join the live streams in the morning, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. But again, I like to make this EMA the green one. Then we're going to go to the eight EMA, make it purple. Then we're going to make this one the 21 EMA and we're going to make it white. Then we're going to make the 34 EMA. Let's do this red color right here. 55 EMA. We're going to leave, we're going to leave this, this light blue right here. And then we are going to do the 89 EMA and I am going to make it this purplish color right here. So now we can apply that to our trading chart. And now all we need to do is add the TTM squeeze. And then again, go back to our settings tab right here. And then we are going to make the volume the same color as the candles. So this is how all of our charts are going to look. So now at this point, again, go back to your studies, edit studies, and then you are going to click this button right here that says save as set. So click save as set, name it as day trading and then click save and okay. So now it's going to be much easier to add it to all of these other charts right here instead of adding every single one. All you need to do is go to the studies tab again, go to your sets, day trading, use, apply, and it's gonna pop up right away. So again, go back to the beaker icon here, edit studies, sets, day trading, use set, apply. And eventually this is how all of your charts should look. So now if we were to turn on the level two, we can see we got our one hour, four hour daily, five minute and 10 minute. Now to get rid of these annoying little bars right here, all you need to do is come up to this button right here, show grid action, customize grid, and then turn it off. So now this is going to be your day trading chart. Now real quick, how to use the EMAs. If all the EMAs are stacked to the upside, the five on top of the eight, eight on top of the 21, on top of the 34, 55, 89, on the one hour, four hour and daily, all you are looking for is for calls. And again, a very quick example, Tesla this morning, they were all stacked on the one hour, four hour daily. What happened with Tesla? It gave a nice, beautiful push to the upside. So now that you have your day trading chart set up, again, all you need to do is come up here to show actions menu, and then you're going to click detach. That way it's going to pop up as a completely different window. And then if you have multiple monitors, you can throw this on a different monitor. So now we have our normal chart where we're going to do most of our analysis to see where the EMAs and SMAs are all at. And then we have a clean chart where we can see most of our support and resistance as well as our chart patterns, just in case we can't see it on the other chart because it's got too many EMAs on it. And then we have our day trading setup right here. So now we are going to set up one more window and it's basically going to be for your watch list as you can see in this chart right here i throw all of the stocks that i want to watch for the day over here that way i can see eight charts at one time so again we're going to go back to the flexible grid section and we are going to add eight charts so again click this plus button four times and then you're going to add one down here you're going to and then click the bottom plus button bottom plus button bottom plus button and bottom plus button now at this point, all you need to do again, go to your charts and then just start putting in the companies that you want to pop up on this list. So we're going to come up here to this blank one and we are going to put PayPal. For some reason, it keeps putting the level two. So what we are going to do is just take off the level two and put the chart instead. So make sure you fill all eight of these in with just random companies real quick while we set this up. So now we got eight of our charts on here. And now what we are going to do yet again is go back up to the show grids action. So what we are going to do yet again is come up to this show actions menu and we are going to detach this. Now it's going to give us this entire screen right here. 
that way you can watch eight charts at once and again if you want to you can start going through and expanding how close this is to the end i personally don't like it up against it so i would change it to at least 25 but it's just going to be personal preference this is just what you're going to be watching throughout the day so that way if you're watching multiple stocks you can decide which one looks the absolute best for you to then put on your day trading which is going to be over here so i have this on a different monitor if we're looking at this and i think microsoft looks really good it's about to break out of a symmetrical triangle i can then throw it up to this chart right here and then have the level two data on as well and now after you do all of your analysis on this chart right here you can then just keep the option chain up throughout the day on a different monitor or you could just trade off of your phone but that is going to be how you set up these four windows right here again i use all four of these windows and then i just have another one with the person's pivots which i have a video about so if you guys haven't seen the person's pivots feel free to watch that video i'm going to leave a link down below but those are going to be the main four charts that i use so now at this point all we need to do is change how our trend lines are as well as the support and resistance so by default with the support and resistance it just gives you a line that's red and it doesn't go all the way across i personally already changed this on here because i did a previous video and i guess it saved anyways if you go to this money with the dollar sign under it it's going to say price level all you need to do is go somewhere on your chart and double click so if you guys would like your support or resistance to snap on to the actual candle go up to this gear icon right here where it says chart settings and then what you're going to do is go to settings snap drawings two, and then ohlc and then you are going to apply that that way this will now snatch on to any support or resistance areas you can see how it just snaps onto the wicks of the candles so that's ideally what you want to get the most accurate support and resistance areas anyways now once you have these drawn you can right click on them edit properties and it's personal preference on how you want to set this up i personally just make all of mine white and then i make them this dotted right here so once you have that you can then go back here and then click save as default that way every single time you start drawing these they are all going to be white and dotted i personally just prefer this but i know some people that like to use the solid color so it's honestly personal preference at that point and then once you got your support and resistance done you got to go to your trend lines now the trend lines it just gives you this really skinny red line right here again draw one out go to edit properties i prefer to make mine yellow and i prefer to make them a little thicker than what the red one is so maybe like two or three we'll put three for now save as default okay that way if you're looking at some type of chart pattern you know maybe a symmetrical triangle or a bull flag it's going to look a lot cleaner than just a very skinny red line but that's going to be my full in-depth finger swim chart setup so that's how you're going to set up this screen right here this clean screen right here your support resistance and your other technicals just to get a cleaner view of the chart then you got your day trading chart over here and then finally you have your watch list over here so i'm going to leave a link to a couple of these charts down in the description as well as a simple moving average setup because there's a certain way that you have to set it up that way that it doesn't move when you change the time frames the simple moving averages are really meant for the daily time frame but yeah that's going to be my full setup for thinkorswim so if you guys didn't enjoy the video make sure that you guys click that like and subscribe button as well as clicking that bell icon it would mean the absolute world to me I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next video.